Uh, Zub upper body, uh, one to two weeks. Um, <clears throat> uh, we'll uh, reevaluate that Shabbat's maintenance. He'll be back tomorrow. Um, everything else is uh, status quo. How tough is it to lose Zub when he's such a steadying influence for you back there? It's been great. Um, you know, uh, our best D last night. Uh, he's been really good. His last four or five games, he's been physical. Um, you know, he's moving pucks, but he's just he's playing with a with a, a purpose and a presence. Um, you know, it's a big loss for us, but hey, uh, someone else has to step up. Is there a specific moment or play where that happened last night? No, I I was just informed after the game, so I'm unaware of of when it happened. He played right to the end, but a lot of times adrenaline pushes you right through, and um, and then they told me that um, can't go this morning, and it'd be one to two weeks. Yeah, we bring a defenseman up for the trip. Yeah, that's uh, obviously Pierre will make that decision um, uh, this afternoon or later this afternoon as to you know who we bring up or, or what we do there. You uh, you spent a little bit of time doing six on four, six on five, um, and is that just in, obviously in light of what happened last night? You want to be able to almost recreate those scenarios where if, if you get that six on four in a game that there's a little bit more of a setup, I guess. Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, we practice it, and obviously. You know, we, I mean, we weren't sharp. Clearly, we turned it over and, you know, and it didn't work out. But um, just want to turn the light bulb back on as to face offs, where you're lining up, everything. You got to be sharp on those things. Um, you know, and then, and then also a lot today was about the penalty kill. As much as we practiced a lot of power play, you know, and you're, everyone's always looking at the offensive side, today was about the penalty kill, uh, the pairs, you know, 3v5, you know, uh, 4v6, all those scenarios on the other side of the puck. So as much as we were practicing that side, uh, it was probably even more on the penalty kill side. You know, sometimes with like football coaches, if, if on a fourth and two, they'll go for it, and when it doesn't work out, people get angry, and when it does, it looks great. And they're, the rationale from the coach is always, I wanted to put the ball in our offense and you know, kind of uh, have faith in them. Is that kind of what you were doing yesterday, going six on four, that you wanted to give show a little bit of faith in your in your group? One hundred percent. I believe in that group. I believe that they have the ability to be difference makers. Um, you know, in my opinion, that's our six best offensive players, um, you know, excluding, you know, you've got Pence coming in, obviously Sandy and some guys, but that's our six best offensive players. And we have full possession of the puck. There's two, there's two ways of looking at it. Uh, one is the conservative way um, where you let them go for a minute. Um, but our five on four really hadn't generated much. That second period, little, little spurt there. Um, you let them go, but the problem would be then is we're out of a timeout, and then um, you're going to finish the game without those guys likely on the ice. So you're going to have a mixed bag of guys at the end when you get a six on four, where we're 100% organized and we have full possession of the puck. I do it again. Um, you know, this time we would we would just kick it back to the top and get it set up, and hopefully have our two minutes of cracks at it, uh, and uh, and we score. So 100%, I have trust in those guys. The next time we'll get it done. We're taking uh, top of the What's that? Are you taking Talbot on the trip? Yes. Trip? No, I don't think he'll play, but he'll practice and he'll be around the guys, but he's getting close. Yesterday, I'm, it's kind of a little bit off topic, but um, in the video of the uh, Castellic signing, you were wearing a PWHPA sweatshirt, and I know that a lot of fans thought that that was pretty neat and cool, and I don't know if there's a backstory to that, but I'm just going to ask you about uh, deciding to wear that. Yeah, um, my wife is uh, really good friends with Carolyn Prevo, who's who's one of Canada's best cross, CrossFit athletes, who also was involved in the in the, the PWHA. And and um, last year they were doing a fundraiser, and you know I thought it was for sure part of our duty to 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 help, not only help her out. Uh, but help the association out. And we've done things in the past to help her out um, for the CrossFit Games and things like that. But obviously women's hockey has taken such a huge jump um, and more and more people are recognizing it. And I think the more we recognize, the more we push it as as people in the in the spotlight, the more that, you know, we're going to help them. Just on uh, Zoom not having a situation where you're fortunate to have Zaitsev here. You could yeah, for sure. Yeah, I mean, you need... It, any given time throughout the season, you could go through 14 defensemen, and it, and they when one goes, it seems like they go in a bunches, and uh, you know we haven't had a lot of injuries. We've had some guys banged up on the back um, that have been in and out, but we haven't had a lot. And and Zub, knock on wood's been fairly healthy, um, but you know we think we've got some depth. If if we do run into that situation, we think we got some guys in Belleville um, that can certainly come up and help. 
um, you know, we know that, you know, there's some guys down there that we don't want to ruin their development, that we think they're on a real good path. Um, but if we need to use them to help us win, we'll do it. Upper or lower body? Upper. Florida, the trip to Florida, how big of a test is that? Well, when we looked at the first 10 games of the year, now obviously we were going game to game here, but we looked at the first 10 games of the year. Eight of the 10 teams are playoff teams from from a year ago, um, you know, and 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 we're in the middle of it right now. Um, you know, we played Dallas, we were Washington, Boston. Uh, you know, we had Arizona in there, but uh, last night Minnesota. You can see why these teams are in the playoffs. I mean, we played really good against Dallas, not so good uh, last night, but you could see they just come in waves. They're big, they're strong, and. It's not going to stop in Florida, and it's certainly not going to stop in, in, in Tampa Bay. So, um, you know, we, we know that we have to be ready for these teams, and it's just move on to the next team. But I thought, you know, there were spurts we weren't good, but there's also spurts where we were good. And um, we've got to be better, you know, in last night's game, but in the home stand as a whole, we're really good. Um, when you look at it as a whole, to get eight points out of ten, the teams that we played, how we played, um, and now we got to go do it on the road. A year ago, we were good on the road, in my opinion. And now we got to start, you know, we, you, you want to try to be 500 on the road. And, and I thought probably we deserved a little more earlier. We didn't get it. Now we got to go get, go get ourselves some points. A year ago, you swept the Florida uh, portion of one of those trips. Is this a diff- does this group carry a different confidence with it based on, you know, what you were able to do building last year? Well, I think the biggest thing in our, our conversation this morning and it, was, it would have been easy just to go right to the plane, and, and but I think we had to flush last night, uh, was talk about our expectations as a group where, you know, a year ago or two years ago, that game last night where they turned it on in the second period on us, that probably ends up, you know, 5-1, 6-1. You know, uh, we stayed in the game, we found a way, and we were down to two minutes from getting a point or better. And we've got to expect sometimes a little more of ourselves and, and not have that mentality. Now, going on the road, these are two real teams. And we have to also play in the way, play the way we've played, but expect to come out with points too. Did you have an issue with the uh, icing call before the three goal? Yeah, I mean, it's things like that are going to happen. I mean, uh, refs are trying their best out there, you know, and, and every play. I, you know, I could say yell at the ref about a penalty call or an icing call or, or whatever the case may be. But if they're sitting up there watching me or anyone's watching our players, you can do the same to them too. They're good at their job, and they make decisions really quick. And sometimes they're going to make mistakes. It is, it is what it is. But they're the best in the world at what they do.